Hey folks, Eric here from Avid CNC, and I'm here to answer a question that you may have. What the heck is this new touch plate that comes with our new EX controllers? Well, it's a powerful new way you can do tool changes and Z-Zeroing, and I'm going to show you all about how it works right now. I'll start out with a quick demo of the new touch-off plate in action, and then we'll do a deep dive on how to set it up and configure it. So I'll start out by activating the tool change script and you can see the machine will automatically position itself over the tool height setter for us. I'll wrench in a tool of my choice, tell the controller I did that and press start. The machine will automatically come down and probe the height of that tool. Now, as most of us do before we start cutting a job, we zero to the top of our material. So I'm gonna take my bit and just manually position it over the top of my touch off plate. Then I'll go into our new touch plate utility, say that I wanna do a Z probe and zero to the top of my material. Now I'm gonna go into the control and move the bit down to Z zero, which is gonna place the tip of the bit directly on top of the material. As you'd expect, the DRO reads Z0. Now you might be thinking, that's not that interesting. And you're right, it isn't that interesting. Z0ing is pretty much the same as it's been on our old controllers, but here's where it gets interesting. I'm gonna change to a different tool. I'll go ahead and initiate another tool change, and we're just gonna go down and touch that tool off the same way we did the first tool. And when that's done, I'm gonna jog over that same material and I'm gonna go back down to Z0. And you'll see the tip of this bit is significantly longer than the one I used before, yet it ends up in the exact same place on the top of the material. If you look at the DRO, it still says Z0 and I didn't have to use my touch plate again. This is the real power of having a fixed touch off plate. It allows for tool changes whenever you want and it maintains that Z0 between every tool chain. For this system to work properly, we need to calibrate the XY location of your tool height setter and its position relative to the work surface above or below it. To do this, we have a built-in utility that will walk you through the steps of doing all these calibrations. To start out, you're gonna to wanna to put a bit in the spindle and manually jog that bit over your tool height setter. Jog down in Z so you're close, but you don't have to be really close. Just a couple inches away from the top of the plate is fine. Once you do that, you can go into the control and click on the utils button. That is the cog shaped button on the VCP. And that's gonna bring up this menu here. You can select number two and press enter or cycle start. And this is gonna begin the touch plate calibration utility. The first prompt is going to ask us if we are over the tool height setter in X and Y, and in this case we are, so we can say yes and press cycle start. After pressing cycle start, the bit is going to travel to the tool height setter and tap it to confirm its location. Back in the control, you'll get a notification that the operation was successful. Now it's gonna ask you if you wanna recalibrate your spoil board location. We need to say yes to this because if we don't do this now, we're not gonna be able to change tools. Now you're going to get a prompt that says we are going to calibrate the work surface location. Press cycle start to continue. You get another prompt that says cycle start to head to the touch plate. At this point, the bit is gonna come down and probe the touch plate one more time. Once that's done, you're gonna get a prompt that says jog to the work surface with the bit just touching it and press cycle start. Find a nice smooth section of your work surface and carefully jog your z-axis down to the top of the surface. You can use slow jog modes and incremental to get yourself just perfectly on top of that spoil board. When you get really close, a tip that I like to do is to really inch up slowly on the spoil board and just manually spin the bit around until you just start scraping a little bit of material off of it. Once you get to that location, press cycle start. When you do that, the bit is going to pop back up. Back in the control, you'll get a notification that your work surface has been calibrated, and you'll also get a notification that says because you've moved your fixed touch-off location that your tool heights have been reset. With all that set up, we're now ready to do our first tool change. Make sure you have a tool mounted in the spindle, and when you do, go into the control and select the MTC button. You're gonna get asked for a tool number, decide what number you'd like this tool, and press cycle start. 
Then you'll get asked what the diameter of the tool is. Pick a diameter and press cycle start. After that, the machine is going to move over the tool height setter. You'll then be prompted to insert the tool number and press cycle start. Go ahead and mount up the tool, and when you're done, press cycle start. After hitting cycle start, the machine will probe the length of the tool with the fixed touch off plate. It'll tap twice, and then it will move all the way to the top of travel. You'll get a notification on screen that your tool was measured, and that's it. You've done your first tool change.